Blue cheese is Galton's secret starter dish ingredient, and one he thinks will give him the competitive edge over Anthony. Galton's worked hard to build up a network of local suppliers. There aren't many cheesemakers in the area, but he thinks Catherine Temple of Mrs. Temple's Cheeses in Whiten, Norfolk, makes some of the best he's ever eaten. I'm not just saying this to blow your trumpet or anything, <laughs> but your Binham Blue is as good a cheese as I've tasted for a long time. It's, it's really good. I used to come from Binham, I used to have a house in Binham, and suddenly to have a Binham Blue cheese was wonderful. Why all the villagers? What? Well, we name the cheeses that we make after the villages where we grow the cattle food. We enjoy ah, local see. food and so do our cattle. Yeah. It's one of our aims to grow as much of our cattle food as we can so we know where it's come from. I can't wait to go and taste them. Yeah. Well, let's go and scrub up and go to the cheese rooms and make Vinny yes. Blue. Yes, yes, yes. After the milk's been treated and heated, it turns into junket, the base from which cheese is formed. So the junket's now ready to cut. Right. So we're going to cut it up into one centimetre cubes with these specially made cheese yep. knives. Um, so I'm if you pop it in, yeah, just slide it down the edge of the vat, you're in, and draw it along. And this is just like jelly. It is, it's like a panna cotta. And I'm now in right. the opposite direction. I must admit, I think I'm making a real pig's ear of this, but hey. So now what we do is we just fish it out of the way and pop it into the blue moulds there to make sure. blue cheeses. Wonderful. And because they've got a skin on them and a little bit of structure, it'll give us the open, porous texture for the blue cheese veins to grow. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow. Can I do it? Yeah. It'll just drain out of the holes and carry on draining. What does it taste like at that stage? A very little, yeah. a very little, but we've put into it some bacterial culture and some rock four culture. After five weeks in store, it'll have the colour and the flavour that you expect. Yeah. What we're making today will be for sale in six weeks' time. The cheese is then laid down to mature, but for Galton, it's off to the farmhouse to taste the Binham Blue at its various stages of maturity. Now, this one is just for the experience. Yeah. This is not an example this is a of week our old. product. Only a week old. You can tell it's not mature, but it's, it's there's definite flavour there. And this one's had a week longer. And it's had more air to it. You're getting the veining come through and you're getting a more mature flavour. And this is the cheese ready to go. Mm. It looks it. It looks buttery. Yeah. It's delicious. Mr. Worrell Thompson won't be able to eat this cheese because it's too high in fat. That's his problem. Everybody's allowed That's his a matchbox-sized piece a day. Yeah, but have you seen the size of him? No, no, go ahead.